Hi, in this video, we'll show you how to upload PDPs in your seller account on Ozone. To do this, you need to specify the main and additional characteristics of the product, and then add an image of it and confirm the provided details. Here we go. Open the Product and Prices section in your account and click Add Product. Before creating a new product, check if this product is on sale on Ozone. If the same product is already on sale on Ozone, you can copy it without filling in the product information. To do this, enter the name, product code or link to the PDP on Ozone and click Find. The system will find similar products. If there are products you need, click Select. They will be added to the list, from which they will be added to your product range. The product seller may forbid you from copying the PDP. In this case, select another similar product. After selecting the products, click Complete Adding. A list with the products you've selected will open. Specify the product ID and price for each product. Click Add Products. If you don't want other sellers to copy your PDPs, you can forbid copying. To do this, go to Settings, click Content. Here you can enable or disable the ban on copying. If you haven't found the product on Ozone or all the found options are copy protected, you need to create it. To do this, click Add New Product in the New Product field. Enter the product name. It is formed according to the scheme type plus brand plus model plus important characteristics for the category. You can specify the name manually or it can appear automatically. To do this, leave the name field blank. Then select the main category and subcategories from the drop-down list. It is important to select the category correctly because the referral fee is charged depending on the selected category. If you can't find the right category or specify the wrong one, write to us. To do this, click the message icon at the bottom screen of your account and select Create a Request. Then select the topic Content Working with the PDP and the subtopic Add a product category type. Next, specify the product ID or product number. The product ID must be unique for each product, even if it is the same product but in different color or size. The system will recognize such products as completely different products. Set the price and select Not Subject To in the VAT field. You can specify the price before discount at which the product was previously sold. Customers will see the price crossed out and a percentage discount. The price before discount must be higher than the current one. Specify the weight and size of the product in the package. Size must be specified in millimeters and weight in grams. There are maximum and minimum values for each product category. You can specify the size of the product without a package in the Characteristics field. Click Next. Here you need to fill in the brand field. You can select it from the drop-down list or select No Brand. Also, if you own or represent a brand, or if you do not find an existing brand in our list, you can request to add a new brand via your account. Click Request Adding a New Brand. Then you need to fill in the Brand Name field. Select a category, attach a link to the logo, and an image of the brand product. You can also add a comment for moderation. If the product has several variants, for example different color or size, fill in the Merge on One PDP or Model Name field in the same way. By this field, the products are collected on one PDP, so it should be the same for all variants. We recommend to learn other features of merging products into one PDP with the help of this QR code. If you can see the Commodity Code field in your characteristics, you can choose the relevant code from the drop-down list or select Code 2812 Cross-Border Products if the list offers such an option. Specify as many additional characteristics of the product as possible. The more detailed the description, the more often customers will find your product. Also, products with detailed characteristics attract more customers. Click Next. You have already filled in the product information and main characteristics. Go to the second part of this video 
to learn how to upload media.